Hello everyone. Today is a special day, September 5, which is celebrated as a Teacher's Day in India. And today me and Hamanan are going to talk about the teachers who influenced our life. Teacher has a greater role in everybody's life, uh, whether you are, you are talking about your career or life in general. And I want to talk about uh, three teachers uh, which influenced my life uh, in, a, in a great deal. So let me tell you a story of the first teacher and how I met him. So on the screen, the picture that you're seeing is a volleyball game that we play in a park near my home. And this is a real picture. This is my volleyball team. We usually play volleyball every Saturday. 10 years back, when I moved from Maryland to New Jersey, I went to this park and a couple of folks were playing volleyball. And they invited me to play with them. And it was a nice gesture to a stranger to, you know, invite that person for a game. And these people were pro actually. And I didn't know how to play volleyball. Now, I had some bad experience of playing volleyball in India where I would go to play volleyball and since I didn't know how to play the game, they would uh, either, you know, they would either uh, have me stand on a side or they would not even invite me because then uh, a new player would spoil their game. Here, what I observed was exactly opposite. These guys were pro, they were playing a nice game. And although I was new and I was, when I started playing, I, I was obviously miss hitting the ball and spoiling their game. Despite of that, they inspired me and a couple of folks even helped me with my shots and they continuously motivated me. And then I kept on playing volleyball with this group. After some point, I thought that these people are very different. And I'm like, how is that even possible? You know, if one person is different, like two person or three people could be kind, but this entire group of people is very different. And then I asked them and then they told me about Pandurang Sastri Arthule, who is the, who inspired this Swadhyay Parivar, Swadhyay family. It's a spiritual family based on Bhagavad Gita teaching in India and even in, in the entire globe. And they, uh, this group goes uh, to listen to Pandurang Sastri's Bhagavad Gita discourse every Sunday. And they do like a lot of activities like sports and a lot of, lot of other activities as well. And I saw a clear influence of Pandurang Sastri's teaching on their behavior. And so I also decided to go uh, and listen to uh, this person. And at that point, I had read Bhagavad Gita, which is a holy scripture in Hindu religion. I had read Bhagavad Gita maybe 20 times and I thought I already knew everything. Uh, and I would go listen to him. And then gradually I saw this transformation. A and, you know, I saw this principle where, let's say you have a furniture in the home. And if you don't regularly clean it, uh, it will accumulate dust. So our knowledge our moral values, etc., are such that you have to continuously clean it. Otherwise, it will accumulate dust. We live in a world full of glitters. You talk about money, fame, career, so many things going on. And one can easily diverge from the path of the moral values that that person is living in. And I feel that now when I go and listen to Pandurang Sastri Atwale, who is no more in the world, but we listen to his video Bhagavad Gita discourse. And I literally every Sunday, I go as if I'm going in a school with, with this bag. See, this is the real bag I want to show. I have all my books and I have a notebook here, like traditional notebook, not in pen. So these are, uh, this book has all my notes. They are in Gujarati language. And I make all these notes and try to learn how one can become a good human being. This is not about data science, machine learning. I know that. But I've seen that the things I have learned uh, from the, these teachings is something that has 
that has a direct impact on my career too. We are doing Code Basics. I was doing just YouTube channel now. Code Basics is, is a company, is, is an ad tech company. And I see a clear impact of whatever I learned from Pandur and Sastri Artwale on, on the way we run business, on the way you know we behave socially with other people. So Pandurang Sastri Artwale, I would say, is the teacher who had a humongous impact on my life. And I would just summarize uh some of the some of the things which i learned from him uh number one was never become in gujarati or in hindi language we we call it lachar lachar means helpless you know when you are in need let's say you're looking for a job you're learning data science right now you're looking for a job you're talking to a recruiter or let's say you go in interview like never ever show that never basically compromise on your self esteem or dignity that's what Pandurang Sastri Atwale taught us, which is no matter what happens, right? You have, as a human, you have this power in you. You can earn your bread. You can take care of your family. But because of money or because of whatever other selfless re uh, reason, like don't become a yes man and don't, don't compromise on your self-esteem. The second point I... I learned was God resides in you. Now, I know some people may not believe in God, but really it's about this power, this divine energy that everyone has. That energy is there in everyone. If you if you want to believe it or not, if you want to take this as a just purely motivational talk, <laughs> but I have personally experienced that, that that divine energy, that healing power, let's say you are fighting with a disease, you have that healing power in you. You're going through a crisis in your career. You're not getting a job, let's say. There is a divine energy in you. You just need to be mindful about that. You need to just have that faith that there is this God and divine energy in you. And the third principle is, if there is a God or divine energy in you, it means the same energy is there in every other human being. So when you are dealing with any other human being that person could be a ceo of a company or a beggar on the street make sure you treat them with equality there is there is this divine this chaitanya in that person so you need to respect them i run this company called atlic technologies and we have close to 80 people who work for us in our office in gujarat india and when i talk about talk with my brother who is who who is uh, managing that office we always say that by paying 1 lakh or 2 lakh rupees a month we are not buying the soul of that person and one thing we need to make sure is we have this utter respect for that person just because that person is a human being you know there is this chaitanya or divineness in that person now, because of whatever reason, let's say the person is performing, not performing well, obviously you give the feedback on the on how that person can improve the performance. That's fine. But never ever do something that can hurt that person's self-esteem. So I'm still learning. I'm going every Sunday. We make sure that we never miss out on this because this thing is like very, very important for me. Initially, when I used to go and listen to this Bhagavad Gita discourse, it was, it was like casual, I would miss out. But nowadays, I make sure that I don't miss out on this thing because that is the most important thing. If you are a good human being, if you have a strong moral values, integrity, you are, you are going to fly in your career. No one can stop you. Trust me, this has happened with me, with hundreds of people that I know. So this can happen to you as well. So for, for career gain or for monetary gain, make sure you don't compromise on your self-integrity. And that is something I'm, every week I'm learning from Pandurang Sastri Atwale. The second teacher I want to talk about is the life events and the universe. So nowadays my mindset is when I wake up, when I go out for a walk, I have a nice nature around my home, look at birds, a little chipmunk, comes to my home 
I feed him peanuts with my hand. And I believe the nature and the life event is the greatest teacher one can have. You're living in a life, live university all the time. You're walking on a street, going to a job, commuting in a bus. You are in a university and the universe is constantly teaching lessons. I want to share a picture. And this is the picture of my health struggle. If you are following me on my YouTube channel, you might know about my health struggle a little bit. Now, by showing this picture, I don't want to earn any sympathy or kind of portray that. See, I was going through hard time and how I came back. The This picture holds a special place in my heart because these events which happened in my life, these were the greatest teacher. And they taught me so many things that I would not have learned otherwise. I went through horrible health crisis. I was 77 kg. I was reduced to 49 kg, almost became like a walking skeleton. And this autoimmune condition that I had, ulcerative colitis, made me bleed for months and months. In a worst flare in 2019, I bled for like three months constantly. And I thought at some point I might not live. And then I came back using some natural protocol. That, that's a separate discussion. I, I have made a videos on that also. But the point I want to make for this particular video is these events taught me this lesson that as a human, when something bad happens to us, we, we tend to think, why did this happen to me? We freak out. We look at other healthy humans and you would be like, but this person doesn't have, he eats all kind of junk. They don't have any issues with their colon. I eat vegetarian. I eat vegetarian. I am, I am living stress-free life. I do yoga every day. Why did this happen to me? So my mindset went from why did this happen to me to what is this teaching me? And when I shifted that mindset, uh, what is it teaching me? How do I make good use of this thing? You know, Winston uh, Churchill's famous quote, which is, never let a good crisis go waste. And if you think from that perspective, again, you can do amazing things. And my health crisis is something that inspired me to start a YouTube channel. It inspired me to start my own software company because I thought life, life is going to be very short. You want to do whatever you want to do. You have time limitation. You know, you were in this time rush. And if you use that in a positive way, beautiful things can happen. So yes, my, my learning from this bad life events was always think, what is it teaching to me rather than thinking, why did it happen to me? And the third picture I want to show you is the teachers uh, from my primary school. My father, of course, he taught me math, English, more importantly, how to become a good human being and live a very simple life and yet an impactful life. Uh, so he taught me by doing small actions, how you can make a bigger impact. Right, Haman, and we were uh, discussing about this movie, The Wonderful Life. I, you, you suggested me that movie. And it's a wonderful life. Yes, it's a wonderful life. Yes. And we will highly recommend it. I think it's available on Amazon Prime. Now watch that movie. So that movie is about a normal person's life. So my father is like an ordinary person who lived in, in a village who, who, who was a primary teacher. But I can relate his life story with that. The wonderful, it's a wonderful life movie where by doing small actions, he had probably bigger impact in someone's life. And the other picture I want to show is all my teachers from my primary school, my middle school, uh, Suthar sir, who taught me math, Maya Ben, uh, my Gujarati teacher, uh, Manhar Bhai Sahib, Natu Bhai, uh, my PT teacher, Singh sir, and uh, in, in college, CKP sir. There are many teachers who had uh, who helped me become who I am today. And on this teacher's day, I am eternally thankful to them. And I will now pass it on, on to you, Hamanan. 
that's very inspirational by thank you thanks for sharing that and some of these things i'm hearing it for the first time myself so that's very interesting so in my case um, i would want to talk about my school life uh, that that that's what i think something happened in my school that changed my life for good that gave me a new career track or i would say that gave me a new uh, life track that that put me where i am today so you you might know me you you know me probably as a calm person you know like a uh, calm bit composed person but if you travel some 18 years back in 2004 you would visit a school called hindu senior school that's where i studied it's in chennai and uh, and if you go to the class 8 b section you would find me shouting just jumping <laughs> When you when you said that to me, Haman, and I couldn't believe you are such a, you are like meditative almost. Whenever I talk with you, right? We have visited person. Uh, we have we have lived together. Like when I visited India, we were together for few days, and you are like always calm, and no matter what, you are like always meditating all the time. And when you say that, you were less mischievous, uh, this <laughs> naughty kid. Was, It's hard was, to believe. I was I was very naughty. I will tell you the reason why because. Uh, at at home uh, my father is quite strict he is a is a typical strict dad and uh, i did not uh, i could not uh, emote myself i could not do all those mischiefs at at home <laughs> because the the punishment was severe and uh, the implications were severe so i was trying to behave so the more i tried to behave at home i i went to school and tried to express that all those naughty things i want you know like that, the mischievous i want to do that hidden energy that. you wanted to explore that somewhere else <laughs> yes. yes i want to explore i want to you know like put those energies out and uh, the one that impacted the most for my behavior is my english teacher and my class teacher ms sheila cabriel and uh, because she was getting the name as the worst class uh, the noise uh, <laughs> the most noisy class you know all all the tax all the bad tax because of me and my uh, bad back bench gang and uh, so we were creating all sorts of mischief like you know jumping on the bed throwing the dusters you know like uh, <laughs> uh, they if someone if someone would uh, come to our school for a visit i still remember we made sure that particular day we'll we'll do something bad so you know like uh, <laughs> you know so that so that it's it's it, it, so that we won't get a good name so we had I, i don't know why i was like that but i was just like that and uh, so my my teacher uh, uh, you know uh, my sheila uh, sheila gabriel ma'am so she she took it in a very uh, different way so even though i did all this mischief there was one good thing that's happening with me that i was good in studies i i was always in the top 5 ranks or at least in the top 3 ranks or something like that and uh, that's again that's again because my dad is strict i i know that i need to study to get get myself out of trouble and uh, i didn't want to get into trouble so what happened with with her is like uh, they I, i still remember uh, it it was in 2004 it was a new term so we always have elections for selecting the class leader right and uh, so there was this particular day where someone said that okay there is uh, ma'am we should have an election today for the class leader and uh, ma'am said sheila ma'am said that okay we won't have election this time we will have himanandas leader i mean everybody was shocked and she asked me to stand up and started clapping hands and i was like really shocked maybe i was thinking that she's she's just making fun of me or something and she really did that she really did that and uh, all of a sudden i i was given a responsibility principal used to call me and say okay go make this announcement in the class go do this and it was very funny i have to you know write the names of my own friends in uh, in the in the, in the, in the, in the board because they were doing mischiefs and uh, i don't know uh, what she found out of that she gave me the responsibility and i couldn't deny the responsibility i took it i took it and i did everything well i learned how to do things because i didn't want to you know like uh, deny the responsibility or 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 you know like uh, you know get out of that it's like and, you were, you were a thief and they made you a police now <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly uh, what happened and uh, and and i was i was a class i was i remained the class leader until i left the school for the next two years and uh, over this three years i would say that i transformed to a completely uh, new person and i still did those mischief but not not like you know not like troubling people i understood i'm not supposed to trouble people i understood a lot of things i learned a lot of things and uh, uh, my my way of dealing things improved 
uh, I could manage people when the class teacher was not there. So all those, I know that I had some innate leadership qualities only then. Back before that, I didn't know that. So I realized I had some leadership potential. I could lead people. I could mentor people. I could, you know, I could talk to people. I could convince them not to shout. I could convince them not to play, jump on the bench. All of that. I came to know only then. Um, but I didn't realize that that much. I left the school. I moved to a different school. All those happened. And, uh, but after that, I got a lot of chance to, to, you know, to be with people, kind of help them, uh, teach them, all of those things. I could only recall uh, my mom, Sheila Gabriel, because she gave me that leadership quality. She gave me that opportunity to understand that if you give that extra pinch of kindness to people, you could transform one's life. You could, you could make uh, lives better. And she was also very smart because she knew that I like to take challenges. And she, she took that, my challenging attitude along with the responsibility and made me to this kind of person. And on a, some, some different day, I spoke to her. I called her and I spoke to her. I asked her, like, do you remember, ma'am, you did all this thing to me? And she was like, oh, did I? She, she, she didn't even, you know, like, for her, it's like, okay, I, I do this with all the students. Yeah, that's, that's uh, more probably I did this with you. You know, I, I found, she, she remembered me as, a, you know, like this, all this naughty, uh, or naughty student, but good in studies. And, uh, and I, I, would, I would always say that uh, for whatever I'm here today, whatever I'm doing, I think a massive credit goes to, her. of course, a lot of other people, but I, she's the one who started that, uh, she planted that seed in me. Of mm. taking responsibility and handling things in a better way and uh, for all of you watching i would say that whenever you get, get a chance to help someone mentor someone uh, whenever you feel you have some authority to change people's life take it with full course and do it with proper care because it could you you never know what that person might become mm. uh, that person might grow up and help a lot of other people as well mm -hmm. so that's that's the thing that i want to share the story it is very personal to me. I haven't shared this in many occasions. Uh, I want to share this in the teacher's day to I hope it inspires people. Nice. And this, this goes back to the whole principle of channelizing the energy in the right direction. And you have been in the management role. I, I, I'm also managing people. And this is what even we do, like a good managers in, in corporate world. That's what they do. Uh, they have team members who are not performing well but then they have abilities in some other dimension and we think how do we use those abilities in different dimension to make them a better performer right we, we do that in corporate world as well and it's really glad to hear that you got such an such a wonderful teacher in your school days itself so i hope you you all learned something from our conversation today if you have any other questions anything post in a comment box below also if you want to share your own story of teacher who inspired you and had an impact in your life please share maybe i will re try to read all the comments and maybe we will also learn something and i'll be curious to hear your story so make sure you post the story of your teachers and how they influence your life in a comment box below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.